Hi everyone, I hope you are having a great day today, and welcome back to AppleJR YouTube channel. On this video, I will show you, fix revoke assign and install assign on iPhone and iPad without revoke anymore. If you can't install eSign on any iOS such as iOS 17 and 18, I have an effective way to overcome revoke assign on your device. Even though you have installed eSign with anti-revoke bypass, but it can't be installed on your device. Unable to install always appears when you want to install eSign. As you can see, I can't use and install eSign even I have used DNS anti-revoke on this website. So, follow this tutorial to fix it. Maybe many people have tried this method, but this is the only method that works and is effective for dealing with revoked certificates on eSign. First of all, you have to back up your data to iCloud or to a computer. If you don't have a computer, you can upload your data to iCloud. If your iCloud storage is not enough, you can purchase additional iCloud storage to back up your data. If you already have data backup, then you can reset your device, or it could be called a factory reset. Factory reset can fix blacklist certificates or revoke certificates from eSign and Scarlet. So please do a factory reset on your iPhone or iPad, but make sure you have backed up your data first. After that, go to settings, then click erase all contents and settings, and you will automatically be asked to back up your data to iCloud. After the backup process is complete, your iPhone will automatically restart and return to factory reset. Wait until the factory reset process is complete. This will take a few minutes. After the factory reset is complete, your iPhone or iPad will look like new. Please set your device's country and region and select Set up iPhone or iPad for myself. Then, set the face ID and passcode. Complete the process until you see Transfer your apps and data page. Here you can restore your data that was previously backed up. Here, there are several options, Restore from iCloud or Computer. So choose one of the backup methods that you used before. If you use iCloud Backup, you will be asked to log in to iCloud. Please log in to your iCloud, and you will find the results of the data backup that you did earlier. Then your data will restore it. Then complete the setup and wait until you see the home screen. And now the blacklist device has been reset. Your device is unblacklist for now and you can install eSign with any certificate with no revoke anymore. Please open Safari browser. Then go to this website. Install the DNS anti-revoke for eSign. Install it on Settings. After that, go back again to the website and you can install any assigned link on this website. For example, I will try all the assigned links on this website. Let's see whether my device was revoked or not. As you can see, all the assigns that I installed were successful and without being revoked. So you can use assign on your iPhone or iPad as usual, and you can install IPF files with assign without fear of being revoked again. So, with a factory reset, you can easily unblacklist your device. This is the only way to unblacklist the certificate, and this method can solve if you can't install eSign on your device. For how to install IPF files with eSign, you can see my previous video. Okay, thanks for watching this video. If you need help, please join to our Telegram group. I will help you to install eSign on your device. See you on the next tutorial.